Rainbow Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. I have another addition to my awesome hook set. Derek found me a surprise. These are Hamanaka. Hamanaka Japanese double-ended hooks. And I had a request for these ages ago. And these are kind of hard to find. But Derek found me some on Amazon. It's a cute little package. It's all in Japanese. These are a Japanese import. But we were able to find some on Amazon, which is very cool. Let's see, everything on here is Japanese. So I got it open. And here's my little set. These are called Hamanaka. A Hamanaka Easily Handy Set. So they come in this little box, which is already a bonus when it comes in a tiny box. And these are double-ended. So we have 10 hooks in this itty bitty little spot, which is very cool. Unusual part about this one is that these are in Japanese sizing. So when you pick this one up, for example, this end is a 4 and this end is a 6. That is not millimeters by any means. And I am so lucky that I have my measurer here that has Japanese on it. So what this really comes with is a 2 point or a 2 slash 0 on this end and a 3 slash 0. So I'm going to call this a 2 and a 3. This is really a 2 millimeter on this end, 2 millimeter on this end, and a 2.25 on this end. So these are the tiny ones like steel hooks. And the next one, this is a 4 on one end and a 6 on one end. In Japanese sizing, this is a 2.5 millimeter. And this is a, let's see, a 6 is a 3.5. And so it's a 2.5 and, and a 3.5 and on the same hook. Next one, let's see, the yellow one is a 5 and a 7. 5 on this end is really a 3 millimeter. 7 on this end is a 4 millimeter. And let's see which one is next. This guy's next. A 7.50 and a 9 slash 0. So a 7.5 in the Japanese sizing is a 4.5 millimeter. And this side is a 9, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And then this big one right here. 8 on one side, 10 on the other, and an 8 is a 5 millimeter on this side, and a 6 millimeter hook on this side. It goes from a 2 up to a 6 in this itty bitty little set. And I'm excited by these. So I am going to take the one that is a 5.5, which is the 9, 5.5 millimeter, because I've just got some Red Heart Super Saver, and this is persimmon. Just going to try these out a little bit. Hopefully you can see this on camera here. Maybe this blue one will work the best. It has little flat grips all over the place on here. There's one, two, three, four for your thumb. And you know that that is huge for me. So no matter how you hold, even if you do a knife hold or a pencil hold, so you can see it's all ridged right here, flat spot there for my thumb, and there's actually a flat spot on the other side for my fingers too. And when you turn it over, it does the same thing. It is awesome. I really, really like the grips on these. These are these are really nice. The sizing is not etched into the grip. However, it seems like it's on there very nicely. It's stamped on and then covered with plastic. So I don't think this is going to rub off. Hopefully not. It seems like it's on there very, very nicely. So more brownie points. All right, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going back to the green one. It's so far, so good. These are awesome. So make sure that they are not going to snag anything. And I want a five and a half millimeter, which is the nine. So that's this side. I'm just going to do a quick slip knot and just do a few chains and then work back down it again. They're a little bit shorter, so you have to get used to the idea that there's another hook in the palm of your hand, but it's not sharp, so that's not bothering me at all. All right, so there's a little chain with my persimmon. I'll just work back down my chain here really quick. Just some single crochets, and my yarn is stuck. There we go. 
very nice and smooth. Okay, I like these a lot. Ooh, I like these a lot. Look all the way down to the end here. Not a snag at all. There's my little single crochets all the way down. These are very nice. Very well crafted. Go through all of them. I've done this already. But there's not a snag in the bunch. And the grips are very smooth. This part at the edges is not jagged. It's not going to catch anything. Not on any of them. So that's a bonus. This is getting good. I like this. These are fun. Alright, so far so good. These are great. I have the clover measuring system here that actually has Japanese on it. But they are not exactly the same as the other chart that I found, which is strange because this has Japanese on it too, right here along the way. So we're going to compare the two. As you can see, this side, where we can go through here, we have a 2 slash 0 in Japanese. It says it's a 2 millimeter hook. Okay, that one matches. Now this is a 3 slash 0, which on a different chart I saw was a 2.25. This says it's a 2.3. So these numbers are off a little bit from what the other chart that I saw was. And then on this one, there are even more um, unusual. And a 2 says it's a 2.7. I don't know, the 2.0 .2 or a 2.7. That's kind of a big difference, but let's just see which one is closer. So here's my 2 slash 0, and the Hamanaka is on this side. So we're going to go to, let's do this one first, because it's the little guy. So here's the Japanese sizing right here, and here's the millimeters on the bottom. This is the 2.2 slash 0. Well, that one seems to be perfect. That's a two millimeter hook. All right. And on this one, it says the Japanese up here. And we go through the two. It certainly does fit, but it says it's a 2.7. It seems as though it is moving around in here a little bit more. This one was a perfect shot. So I'm going to say this really is a 2. Yay! Okay, so there's a 2. Let's see what the 3 zero is. The 3 slash 0, it says it's a 2.3 right here, which is unusual. So it'll be a 2.25. That's perfect. And the 3 up here says it's a 3.0. And again, that seems to be fitting all the way down. Unusual. Unusual sizing methods here with this this whole set came together. Weird that there's different information when this was a set. Right here like this. This is the four. So here's my two and a half. Right there, that's working. And the six slash zero is around the corner on this side, saying this is a three and a half. And that's working. Here's a five. Back around this corner again. This is a three millimeter hook. That's working. Nice. And the seven is right here. It's a G hook, so that's a four. That's working. Nice. 7.5. That's the only one that hasn't just been a zero. So here we go. Right here, 7.5 is saying it's a four and a half. That one's working. The nine is around the corner, and that's a five and a half. That one is working. This is awesome. Just, whoops. And the blue one is the only one that I have left. It's an eight, which is right here. It's supposed to be a five millimeter hook. That one is working. And what's our last one? Is a ten, which is over here. It's a J hook, and that's a six. So I'm going to say that yes, those are true to size. Great little case, very compact, and everything is what I would consider my go-to's, but there's 
10 hooks in here, but it's only the size of five. Very awesome. These would make a great gift for yourself, great gift for someone else. Everybody who is watching this must have a crochet lover in their life. So this is a set that you really need. Thank you so much to my subscribers for suggesting these. I love these. These are going to be my new babies. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.